Kling AI Multi-Element Tutorial for Beginners. Hello everyone, and welcome back. If you're looking to create highly customized and hyper-realistic AI-generated videos or images, Kling AI is one of the most powerful tools out there, especially when it comes to working with multiple elements. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily add multiple elements like subjects, backgrounds, scenes, and art styles into your AI videos using Kling AI's multi-element feature. So let's get started. To begin, the first step is to head over to Kling AI by visiting their official website. Once you're on the homepage, you'll need to log into your Kling AI account. If you're a returning user, just enter your credentials and you'll be directed to your dashboard. If you're new, you can quickly create an account to get started. After logging in, you'll find yourself on the main dashboard. Now, take a look at the bottom left corner of the screen. This is where you can see important account details, such as your current subscription plan and the number of credits remaining in your account. These credits are what you'll be using every time you generate or modify an image. Kling AI offers three primary subscription tiers, which affect how many credits you get and the features available to you. We'll break those down in detail toward the end of the video. But for now, let's move into the creative part. Now that we're inside the dashboard, let's start exploring one of Kling AI's most powerful features, the element option. This tool gives you incredible flexibility when building or editing an image by letting you combine specific subjects, scenes, and artistic styles with pinpoint control. To access it, look to the left-hand menu bar and click on the image section. Once you do, you'll notice a set of creative tools become available, including text to image, where you write a description and Kling generates a new image based on your words. Image reference, which allows you to work with existing elements and customize your output further. Click on image reference and you'll now see an option titled elements. Go ahead and click on that. This is where you can add, remove, or modify elements inside an image using visual building blocks. So what exactly are these elements? In Kling AI, you can build an image by choosing from three key categories. Subject. This refers to the main characters or items in your image, such as a person, a pet, a bouquet of flowers, or even a specific object like a guitar. Scene. This defines the environment or setting where your subject is placed, such as a sunset beach, a cozy living room, a bustling city street, or a fantasy forest. Style. This sets the visual tone or theme of the image, from realistic painting and digital illustration to anime, cartoon, and many others. Kling provides several preloaded samples to help guide your choices. These examples show how subjects, scenes, and styles work together. For instance, in one of the samples, you'll see two subjects, a young woman and a bouquet of flowers, a scene, a softly lit indoor space or perhaps a garden setting, an art style, a playful and colorful cartoon style. This layout lets you visualize how your selected elements will interact before generating your final image. Let's walk through the creation process step by step using this as inspiration. So I'm going to build an image where the girl is holding the bouquet of flowers and laughing. To do this, I'll go to the prompt box and type in something like, a smiling girl holding a colorful bouquet of flowers and laughing with joy. This helps the AI understand the emotion, action, and relationship between the elements in the scene. You can be as descriptive as you like. The more detail you provide, the more refined your output will be. Next, we'll set the aspect ratio of our image. Aspect ratios control the shape and orientation of your final picture, and Kling gives you several choices here. One to one, square. Ideal for Instagram posts or profile images. 16 to nine, horizontal. Perfect for YouTube thumbnails, desktop wallpapers, or banners. 916, vertical. Great for mobile stories or TikTok style content. For this demonstration, I want to create a wider image. These ratios are great for standard visuals, and they offer a good balance for detailed scenes. Then, I'll decide whether I want just one output or maybe two versions to compare results. In this case, I'll go with just one to keep it simple. 
Once everything is selected, I'll click on the Generate button to move forward. Now, here's the exciting part. This feature allows you to add or remove elements dynamically within your image, which gives you complete creative freedom. I've already experimented with this in a few of my previous images, so let me show you what that looks like. If you scroll up in my workspace, you'll notice a few example generations. One of my earlier projects started with a very basic image, and then I built upon it using elements. Take this image, for instance. This was the original subject image I uploaded, which I added directly into the element section. From there, I selected a scene, in this case, an ancient looking castle, and then chose an art style, which was a stylized fantasy cartoon theme. My prompt was fairly straightforward. The subject is sitting on a stone in front of the castle. Kling AI did a fantastic job of adapting to this input. The result is cohesive. The setting aligns beautifully with the subject, and the stylistic choices have been respected throughout the generation. Now let's go back and see what's been generated based on our current setup. In this case, I included two subjects, a rose bouquet and a woman. And just like that, Kling has produced a wonderful composition. The image looks vibrant, expressive, and feels like a professionally composed illustration. I really appreciate how it brought together all the defined elements into a cohesive frame. And here's the even cooler part. You're not limited to just images. You can take everything you've built so far and apply the same process to video generation as well. To do that, simply go to the left menu panel, click on the video section, and then head into multi-elements. This is where you can take existing videos or images, upload them, and then customize them by adding or adjusting elements, just like you did with static images. Let me walk you through an example. Right now, I'm gonna click on a previously created video. In this one, we have a woman walking through a castle corridor. I'll select that video, click Confirm, and now I'm ready to modify it using Kling's multi-element tools. Just beneath that, you'll see options where you can swap out elements or upload a new image to blend into the video. This makes it incredibly easy to alter scenes, add characters or props, and even fine tune the background or style for consistency across multiple scenes. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump into the stock library available inside Kling AI. From here, I'll be selecting an image of a different woman. The goal is to swap the face of the original woman in the video with this new woman from the image. To begin the face swap, I'll modify my prompt. Instead of simply saying, swap X from X video, I'm going to write a more detailed and effective prompt like this. I swap, replace the woman in the video with the woman in the image provided. Please exclude the glasses she is wearing. Since the original woman in the image is wearing glasses, I'm specifically asking Kling AI to generate the face without glasses. This kind of detailed direction helps produce cleaner, more accurate results. Next, I'll configure the output settings. Set the mode to standard for a balanced quality versus credit usage. Set the duration to five seconds, just long enough for a clean test, and choose one output to keep things simple for now. Once that's done, I'll go ahead and click on Generate. But before it can proceed, Kling needs me to select the part of the video where the change should be applied. So I'm going to click on Add Selection and then manually select the character in the video who I want to replace. I'm carefully outlining her form using the tools provided. It's important to be as precise as possible here, especially around the face and head, since those are the focus areas for the swap. Once I'm satisfied with the selection, I'll click Confirm, and then finally hit Generate. Now just a heads up, generating video with a subject swap can take a bit longer than static image generation. That's because Kling is doing a lot of work in the background, analyzing frames, applying motion consistency, facial alignment, and regenerating each moment in a cohesive flow. So we'll give it a few minutes to complete. All right, the results are in. Our newly generated video is ready. And as you can see, the woman's face has now been successfully swapped. The original subject has been replaced by the new subject from our image, and the final video looks seamless. Her facial features have changed accordingly, and since we asked for no glasses, Kling AI has followed that direction accurately. This is a great example of how powerful and intuitive Kling's face swapping tool is.
it's especially helpful if you want to personalize stock footage or maintain consistent casting across different video assets. And this is just the beginning. If you want to take it even further, maybe add accessories, backgrounds, props, or even other characters, you can do that by heading to the Add tab on the left panel. There, you'll find options to upload new elements, which you can drag and drop into your video composition. You can also remove unwanted elements by using the deletion tools. This is useful for cleaning up backgrounds, removing text, or isolating characters. Just keep in mind that video edits like these are more credit intensive. Because you're manipulating multiple frames, swapping out elements and rendering animations, the cost in credits goes up accordingly. So if you plan to work on larger projects or frequent edits, I highly recommend exploring Kling's credit purchase options. Here's a quick overview of their pricing plans. Basic plan, $7 per month, gives you 660 credits per month. Great for light to moderate users. Pro plan, $26 per month, offers 3,000 credits per month. Perfect for creators with regular video editing needs. Premier plan, custom priced, often around $59 or more, depending on region. Includes 8,000 plus credits per month, ideal for professionals or small studios. You can also buy one-time credit packs if you don't want to subscribe, giving you flexibility based on your project needs. So with Kling AI, you're able to create incredible videos and images using its intuitive and powerful element tools. Whether you're swapping faces, removing unwanted objects, or adding new elements, Kling AI gives you the flexibility to transform your media in just a few clicks. Now, when it comes to the element feature, you can use it on both images and videos, but there are some key differences between how these features function in each format. Let's break it down. For images, you can freely add subjects, scenes, and styles. This means you can upload a base image, then overlay different objects, set a specific environment, like a beach forest or room and apply an art style such as cartoon, anime, or realism. It's highly customizable, giving you full creative control over how your final image looks. For videos, you're more limited. You can't directly add scenes or styles like you can in image mode. Instead, for video editing, you'll primarily work by uploading specific image elements, such as a person, object, or face, that you want to include or swap inside your video. So if you're planning to change the background, apply a cartoon style, or define a new environment in your video, you'll need to describe that within the prompt manually, rather than relying on preset scene or style slots. This is a crucial distinction to understand, especially if you're planning a project with consistent visual styling. In videos, your prompt becomes the most important tool. That's where you describe what the subject is doing, how the scene looks, and what kind of style should be applied. For example, Replace the background with a fantasy-style castle and apply a soft, cell-shaded cartoon look. This kind of detail will help Kling A. I interpret your vision more accurately. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and now feel more confident using the element tools in Kling AI, both for images and videos. Whether you're a content creator, designer, or just someone experimenting for fun, these tools open up so many possibilities to explore your creativity. If you found value in this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us continue creating more content like this. And if you have any questions, confusions, or ideas, feel free to drop a comment down below. That's all for today. See you in the next video.